I want to welcome everyone to my very first YouTube video. I want to take a moment to thank everyone who have supported me on my health and wellness mission throughout the years. A little background about me. I am not an expert. I've been practicing naturalistic health for over 23 years. I was an assistant vitamin manager. I am a naturalistic health eating consultant and coach. I am also an author. This is my very first book. Say Yes to Pure Good Food is basically a pocket guide to eat for your health. I am also writing my second book of mental health and wellness. I am very excited about that. I am also a mother of two beautiful girls, their college student. And I've been cooking, you guys, from the age of 10. I know it's been a long time since I learned how to cook. Yes. I am also from the beautiful island of Jamaica. I have lived in the U.S. about 24 years. My motto is eat for your health. Now that you know a little bit more about me, let's jump into the seven foods that can improve your health right away, today, today. I know there's lots and lots of foods that can improve your health and well-being, but today we're gonna focus on seven of them. The first food we're gonna talk about is blueberries. Blueberries are brain food. They're very high in antioxidant. Blueberries are brain food. They help the nerve cells in the brain to communicate more effectively. Blueberries also have anthocyanins. Anthocyanins are basically pigment molecules which make blueberries blue, cherries red, etc. Anthocyanins also improve brain and vision function and they're also anti-inflammatory. I eat these throughout the day consistently. I love these guys. Not only for all the wonderful amazing benefits but it actually is a healthy snack. It just tastes good. I buy them, I buy, I stock up when they're on sale, so I can eat them, I can make smoothies with them, parfaits, and I also love to make blueberry salad, you name it, the list goes on and on where you can put these little guys in, or just eat them as is, like I do throughout the day most of the time. The second food we're going to discuss is kale. Kale is well documented as the king of the vegetable family. Kale is very, very high in antioxidant. Kale is from the brassica family, just like cabbage, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, and more. Kale is a nutritional powerhouse. It has protein, fiber, vitamins A, C, K, and also the minerals, calcium and iron and more. Kale has the amazing cancer fighting indoles and it also has sulfur fame, which helps to detoxify the body. I love kale. I put kale, I use kale very often throughout the week. I love to mix kale and spinach and cabbage as well. I have a recipe on that in my book. Um, is one potent antioxidant cancer fighting um, recipe that I have in my book with all those wonderful vegetables from the Brassica family. The next vegetable we're going to talk about is spinach. Spinach is loaded with important nutrients. It has one of the best source of vitamin K to help calcium to anchor to the bone. Spinach has calcium, magnesium, iron, vitamins A, vitamin C, and more. Spinach also has the anti-inflammatory compound quercetin, and it also has the it all and it also has lutein, which is great for eye health. I use spinach throughout the week, and like I said before, with along with kale, cabbage. You name it, I can add spinach to it. I add spinach to my eggs in the morning. I love spinach. Fourth food we're gonna discuss today is garlic. 
garlic is a global remedy. I can't say enough about this one. Garlic has antiviral, antibacterial, antifungal properties. Garlic is a very powerful antioxidant. It fights viruses, bacteria, parasites, and more in the body. According to a lot of research, garlic helps with blood pressure. It also helps with weight loss and even the common cold. Garlic has the health giving compound, allicin. For allicin to be formed, the enzyme alanase and the amino acid allium must interact with each other for allicin to be formed. For allicin to be formed, I usually mash the, or crush the garlic with a martyr and a stone. I use garlic in, in so many of my dishes. This is a constant throughout the week. I literally use a lot of garlic throughout the week. The next food we're gonna talk about is ginger. Ginger has a whole library of goodness. Ginger has been used for thousands of years to treat many different ailments. Ginger also has Ginger also has antioxidant that helps to improve the immune system and it also fights inflammation in the body. Ginger also helps with many kinds of motion sickness. It can help with nausea, dizziness, and more. It is well documented that ginger is good for the respiratory system, helps with cold and allergy. I especially love using the organic grounded ginger. I love to put it in a lot of teas. My blueberry green tea, my raspberry green tea, you name it. My peppermint tea, I will put some ground ginger in that for all the wonderful health, health benefits that ginger has. The sixth food we're gonna talk about is coconut oil. I use the organic extra virgin coconut oil. It's a staple in my house. Though olive oil and coconut oil are the two main oils, are the two main oils that I use in my cooking. A little tip how I use um, coconut oil. I normally just put a little bit of coconut oil and a little bit of olive oil together for all the wonderful health benefits. Both of those oils go into my meals. But coconut oil has antiviral, antibacterial, and antifungal properties. Coconut oil also has the amazing MCT, which stands for medium chain triglyceride. I grew up using coconuts as a treat on Sundays to look forward to grating the coconut um, to get, to use it to make rice and peas and then to get the little treat at the end, the little, the little stub, the little bits of coconut that's left over from grating the coconut at the end. About 50% of the MCT in coconut oil is from lauric acid. The last food we're gonna discuss is salmon. That's number seven on our list. Salmon has, salmon has a lot of amazing health benefits and the amazing omega-3s. My favorite salmon is wild Alaskan salmon. Farm-raised salmon is very different from wild Alaskan salmon in that they tend to have more diseases because of the conditions that they were raised in and they tend to be fed more um, antibiotics. So I make sure that the package, when I'm looking for salmon to, to um, cook, I make sure that the package clearly states wild Alaskan salmon. And the taste is very different too. The taste is very different. Uh, you can, I, you can t definitely tell. The omega-3s in salmon is good for brain health, heart health, vision health, joint health, and it's anti-inflammatory properties. It does have anti-inflammatory properties and it's great for circulation. Salmon has a whole library of goodness. Salmon has vitamins and minerals and it's very high in selenium. Selenium is an important nutrient in DNA synthesis. With, and it also helps to protect against cell damage. Another great thing about salmon is that it's high in the B vitamins. Especially, it's especially high in B12, 
B12 is involved in red blood cell formation, which transport the oxygen throughout our tissues in our body. So that is a very critical one. And all B vitamins help to maintain optimal brain and nervous system function. Another good thing about salmon is that it's so easy to prepare. I love that. Like I said before, these are seven foods that can improve your health today, today, right away. There are so many foods that can improve health and well-being, but just start off with these seven. Even if you start off by using one, two, or three of them on the list, that's still progress. And as I always say, progress equals success for me personally in my health and wellness journey. Now we've come to the end of the video. It was great spending time with you and sharing some of the foods that I eat throughout the week. My mission is to help people with health and wellness using food first. My motto is eat for your health. If you like the information that I've shared, please consider liking the video and sharing it with family and friends. I also want to say thank you for watching. Be blessed and stay healthy.